So hello everybody, how are you? It is Wednesday, so it's time for another Power BI video and in today's video I'm going to show you a very cool trick. So, have you wondered how to give, create or add totals to a stack bar chart? This one, the one that you see in here. So this is basically that one. So by default, you don't have the possibility to show the totals, but I am going to show you how to do that. And this trick comes from the hands of no other than Restaurant. Yay! So link down below to his post, okay? So this is super, super cool. Let me show you. We're going to create a new chart. So what we want is to have, um, this is the, the DAX Fridays uh, guide that I did on last DAX Fridays. And I wanted to show how many uh, DAX functions there are for the statistical type. How many they are, there are 72. 35 I have not covered and 37 I have covered, okay? So that was the idea. I'll show you how many they are, how many I've done and how many I have left. Let me show you. Okay, so this is what we're going to, um, how we're going to graph it. First, we need to have the function type and then we need to have the number of DAX Fridays and the number of, this is a bad name. It should be called like, functions left to do for DAX Fridays because it is what it is. So now if I add the total, which is in there, you know, we'll add it on top. That's not what we want. So if I put here the add data labels, it will give me the labels for, for each individual part, but it will not give me, there's no way to say show total, which it should be, but there's not. So how do you do it? Okay. Let's do it. We're going to convert this into a stacked column chart and line. Okay. And we're going to add as a line, the total value. So this is the total. And you can see here that it starts to appear, but obviously we do not want to have a line chart. It would make no sense. You can turn that off. If you go to to do to do <laughs> let me see I always forget how to do this. Um shapes stroke. Okay, so with this you say to Power BI chart how thick you want the line to be. And in this case we want no line. So we have to have the stroke of the line, zero, and then it disappears. And I recommend you to do another thing and is to go to data labels and then customize series. And then for the totals, which is the number of functions, put the position always above, okay? So you always, otherwise it will just start moving around and you always want that one above. Let the other ones order because otherwise you're going to have a mess. But now you can see that there are 72 functions. I've covered 37 for statistical functions. I have 35 left to do. Cool, right? Awesome trick. Thank you, Reza, for sharing that with us. And that's all for today. So I will see you again on Friday with another Dax Fridays. Until then, take care and bye bye.